Okay, welcome back everyone. So today we have a geometry problem from Sheridan. And, uh, well, you have fish points K. Well, I'm just gonna pretend they look like this. KLM and And... And I, I have like an A path and a B path. Um. All right, so it's it's quote unquote broken line. Although because we really only care about intersection, um, yeah, I feel like whatever. So I'm just gonna sort of draw them as curves because you can approximate the curve by a broken line anyways. So each of KL and MN. So one of them is like. Even with KN and LM. Okay, they're together, right? It's KL. Nope, wrong way. Shoot, except I was trying to draw A. Okay, so A does that or something. It intersects each of K. Curves are not broken lines, but they can be approximated by broken lines closely enough that I don't care. Yeah, like we, we, we really don't care. But so even, odd, 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 even. And then B is the other way. It's like, um, I want to intersect even, odd, odd, even, like that, or something. I was supposed to prove that A and B intersect, which they don't. So I did something wrong. Uh, what did I do wrong? Wait, what did I do wrong? Why is this not a counter example? <laughs> Oh, they're closed. Sorry, they're closed. That means they're loops. Oh god. Okay. Um, that that's very that's even worse. I mean, closed makes it easier in the sense that I need it because the problem is false without it. Uh. But like, okay, so if they're closed, let's assume for contradiction they don't intersect. So like, I don't know, blurb, and then blurb. This is gonna, so you have, you have two closed things that don't intersect, and then there's like, if so, by the Jordan curve theorem, there's like inside and outside or something, <laughs> right? So by Jordan curve theorem, which I am horrified that I'm quoting, but I mean, it is what it is. There's a region here, like there's a closed region here. There's a closed region here. And okay. So, um, let, let's say like, oh God, wait, is this gonna... I'm very confused now. Okay, so by general curve theorem, uh, we get a region inside a, let, let's say a scene for contradiction. We get a region inside A and a region inside B, plus a region outside. So there are four possibilities for KL, uh, or three, this KL and N, and, you know, each of these four points can be in three places, um, like, inside, outside, or... <laughs> Shout out to your diagram looks like a monster eating a piece of steak. I don't know from, who was that from? Um, from 88 Brilliant. Uh, yeah, I agree. Um, okay, uh, <laughs> okay, so anyways, I feel like, 
K, L, M, N are either uh, inside A, inside B, or outside. And the odd even conditions prevent tell you like something. Okay, this is gonna be, this is really confusing. Okay, so let me let me take a point. Like for example, um, we know that one of a K. Uh, let's say what one of K and L must be outside A and the other inside A. So let's say, without loss of generality, let's say K is inside A. So if K is inside A, then L is outside, N is, oh, L is outside. Uh, okay. There, is, is it like just, all right, I do two cases. L is outside, M is inside. So M is inside, right? Because KL. No, wait. I do, I got this wrong. Um, sorry. KN. Jeez, this is so confusing. Uh, okay. Odd one. Okay, so K. It means N is outside, and then M is outside A. So L is inside. Right. Well, okay, some point is inside, let's say it's K, and, yeah, so L's outside, okay, so KL are both inside, and M and N are both outside. By analogous argument, um, like, if M, this means that one of M and N is inside. M or N. But whichever one is inside, you get even, so it should be inside. So is that it? Does this just work? I think this just works, right? Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm I'm a little scatterbrained today. Shout out to the nom 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 monster from Taper seventeen twenty nine. It it takes a while, okay. <laughs> I, I I have a lot of screens I have to watch. <laughs> uh, actually, this I I should always full screen the laptop. Um. Okay, so yeah, I I think this should just work. And also, what the heck? Uh, okay, so this is share again 2019-23, right? Yeah, that, that was... I mean, I got the sense that it had to work. Like, I would have been surprised if it was... Like, it seems like if it didn't work, then I should have been able to draw a configuration that worked. So in some sense, I was like, you know, this, this has to work. Like, there, there isn't another... P I can't be missing a dependency, right? Uh, that said, I have no idea how to feel about this problem. It feels like... Um, yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, assume for contradiction. Uh, let's make this wider. And that this is not the case. Then A and B both enclose a region, say MathCal A and MathCal B. Wait, what did I... Jordan Curve Theorem um, A and B enclose two disjoint regions um, now. So, so since KL, so let's say KN intersects A,
exactly one of the two points is inside. Well, K inside. Following through, um, M is outside, so L is inside. Now, um, because MN Oh, but now contradiction. The end. Uh cool. All right. We did it. All right. Okay. Broken line. KLMN. Also, this is a combo problem. <laughs> combo Geo. How are you handling so? How do you handle self intersecting? Um. Oh. Sorry, I I assumed that A and B were not. Uh, Two bounded regions. Yeah, I think the the point is, I guess, like, okay, that, that does require a fix. Um, yeah, you you two color the regions. I agree. Um, this is a little annoying to prove, but like, sort of like, yeah, the curve is tangent to KL. Well, we have a general. We assume that things are in general position. So I think it's fine. Yeah, I don't think there's a tension C thing to worry about. Um, all right, let's try the B6. When will hype train start? I don't know what the threshold is, to be honest. It requires a bunch of people to have prime. <laughs> I don't know if a bunch of people have prime. 